Speaking of insurance, uh, I want to bring on Chris Trombley um, because I get a lot of questions about insurance and business interruption. And um, so, so just from the insurance perspective, uh, Chris, what's being done to help uh, businesses through this crisis? Thanks, Tony. I'm a, I'm a property and casualty insurance broker, so I can really only speak to the workers' comp, liability, property side of this and not the uh, group benefit side. But from my chair, uh, we do not want to take this sitting down. We see businesses suffering badly. We see businesses struggling to find coverage under property forms to pay for business interruption. So California has uh, done a number of things to at least alleviate some of the burden um, and we're pushing for more. So one thing that we found that was making my, whatever hair I have left uh, turn to fire was that the, the workers comp premiums were going to stay highly elevated throughout this crisis. Even if you have employees who are getting paid on your payroll, but not actually working, they're home, they're furloughed, whatever it may be, um, you still have to pay workers' comp premiums for those employees, even though they have no possibility of getting injured at work. So I partnered with, a, with somebody in my insurance agency, and we wrote a letter to the state bureau that manages the regulation of uh, workers' comp and how premium gets affected. And we said, uh, kindly enough that we find it outrageous that employers have to continue paying workers comp for employees that aren't even on the work site or have no exposure to get injured. And I uh, got a letter back within a couple of days from one of their executives that took it very seriously and said that they're writing emergency legislation um, that will be in front of the insurance commissioner shortly to uh, remove the necessity for payroll when you have people working from home or, or not working at all, um, just remaining on payroll. And then in addition, they're going to uh, remove any workers' comp claims that come out of a COVID-19 infection uh, from experience modifications, which will ultimately lower workers' comp premiums or, or at least keep them in line if uh, a claim gets filed in that capacity. And then lastly, the, the California Insurance Commissioner issued a bulletin on Monday saying that he is demanding that all insurance companies writing policies in the state of California review their um, exposures and refund any what they call excess premium back to policyholders at least for March and April. So every insurance company is now charged with looking at their uh, types of insurance that they have and figuring out uh, can they return some premium while still maintaining adequate reserves to pay claims. Um, some auto insurers for personal insurance have already done this like uh, Geico and Liberty Mutual and a handful of others. They've given 15% returns back. So we're looking for similar types of things on, on the commercial side as well.